Today I'm going to talk about non-contact tonometry, uh, which is more affectionately known as the puff test. Or I guess I should say non-affectionately known, because it's usually people's least favorite part about going to the eye doctor. In fact, Jeff Foxworthy said that he's convinced that it's a joke among optometrists and they just puff air into people's eyes and just to see people squirm. But no, that's not true. As a student of optometry, I get it done on myself more than anybody else gets it done. The reason is this is done is it can measure the intraocular pressure in your eye. That basically just means how hard or soft your eye is, depending on the fluid and other factors that can lead to this. The normal range for intraocular pressure is between 10 and 21 millimeters of mercury, and the average is 15.5. Um, but this doesn't mean that your pressure should be 15.5. The reason it has to be done every year is you have to find a baseline for your own eyes. If year after year you get 10 millimeters of mercury, and then one year you get 15.5, that's actually going to be high. The big deal is the change in intraocular pressure. So that's why it has to be taken each time you go to the optometrist. If the pressure is high, then that can be indicative of glaucoma. High blood pressure could lead to damage of the optic nerve and it could also lead to visual field defects which just means you lose certain parts of your vision. All these things are very preventable if it's found and a change in your intraocular pressure is going to be the first sign most of the time. And if you fix that right off the bat you won't even experience any of the other symptoms. If your pressure is lower than it usually is, or if it's in the single digits, it could be indicative of um, leakage of the fluids that are in your eye, or a deflation of the eye. Uh, something else could, that could be found is a difference between each of your eyes, and if there's a difference, then that could mean some sort of iritis, which is an inflammation of your iris, the colored part of your eye, or a retinal detachment, which could lead to loss of vision. Okay, so how this works. The pressure of the puff of air is actually uh, well defined across time. I know it seems like it's a millisecond and nothing can <laughs> change during that millisecond, but the force of the puff of air changes and as kind of a bell curve um, over the course of that millisecond. At some point during that millisecond, your, your cornea is going to flatten. It will flatten quicker if your eye pressure is low. It will take more force if the pressure in your eye is high. So the way it's measured is there's a light source that comes in with the puff of air. Like usually you're told to look at the green light. That green light is going to be reflected off your cornea. And when your cornea is flattened out, it will make the correct angle for the receiver, whatever the receiver may be, to receive the light and it'll be at this certain angle. So this is all figured out in, in the machine beforehand, so all you have to do is make sure that you're sitting straight. And that's how it's done. So this test is a nice quick test, and it's non-invasive, and it's really not that bad if you're expecting it. So this test is just a fast way to check the pressures of your eye. Ryan! I'm putting this in the video. Thank you. No. <laughs> Just stick your face in there and do it. <laughs> I don't know why I can't do it. I'm getting nervous. Your battery's gonna die, so you better do I'm it. Uh -oh. Stage right. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha, huh? <laughs>